So in butane thiol, you observe this carbon is asymmetric carbon. This carbon is your asymmetric carbon means we have your stereo center, and due to this stereo center, the molecule is asymmetric. Dear student, note down the molecule is asymmetric, and due to this asymmetry of the molecule, this compound is your optically active. Now, for example, this is if we write butane two on. This is butane two on. Say this is your. Methyl, this is ethyl, this is hydrogen, and this is OH. Suppose the solution of this butane to all, it will rotate the PPL to clockwise direction. Then it is your B or plus butane to all. This is your. D or plus butane to all. Its mirror image. Its mirror image is your non-superimposable. Its mirror image is your non-superimposable. So this is your L or. Minus butane to all. Now the question is: one is B butane to all, another is L butane to all. Can we just observe by writing the structure? The answer is no. But the compound is dextrose level. It can be only performed by doing experiment. Okay, no experiment, no confirmation whether the compound is dextrose. Level. Now this B and L form of butane to all. They behave as your non-superimposable mirror image. They are non-superimposable mirror image. Okay. So they have property of chirality. So one new term is there that is chirality. What is chirality? Chirality means the exhibition of property of non-superimposability. So this molecule is chiral because their mirror images are non-superimposable and they behave as your optically active compound. The molecule is asymmetric. The molecule is not symmetric because if the molecule is symmetric, their mirror image will superimpose. Their mirror image will superimpose. So the pair of B and L, they are known as your enantiomer. They are your Enantiomer, or they are also known as your enantiomorph. Whether enantiomer or enantiomorph. So enantiomer, that is B and L, they have same physical properties like your boiling point. They have same physical properties like your boiling point, melting point, refractive index, refractive index, solubility, etc. But they differ in their optical rotation. It's very important. They differ only in their optical rotation. That one is dextro rotatory and other is lever rotatory. However, the other physical properties are same. 
so on the basis of optical rotation we can distinguish whether a compound is a dextro or lever now if we mix suppose if we mix both the d and l optically active compound in equal amount then that mixture is known as your racemic mixture then that mixture is known as your racemic mixture it is also known as your racemic modification racemic mixture or racemic modification it is also known as your plus minus mixture or simply call your dl mixture for example if we write plus minus butan 2r if somebody ask you whether it will represent dextro no whether it will represent levobutan 2r no it will represent your racemic mixture or it will represent your racemic modification and the racemic mixture have optical rotation zero it is optically inactive and the optical inactivity is due to your external compensation dear student there is internal compensation in mesoisomer however there is external compensation in racemic mixture so thank you in my next video lecture we will discuss the detail of racemic mixture and other aspects of optical isomerism